So we have our next homework problem here, it's 1.1.3. And what they do in this problem is they give us some information. They don't tell us uh, what these actual terms are, but they do tell us what they add up to. And the other thing that's given to us is uh, we have a summation here. Uh, we do start at the same value and we end at the same value. So that's super important. And what we're going to do is use the summation formulas. They're back, they're in the textbook, they're also here in the notes. And the first one here, you can reorder sums, or you can think of it as distributing the summation to the AIs and the BIs. So you can sum all the AIs first and all the BIs second. The next thing we could do is factor out the constant outside the sum. So we're going to use both of those. And the first thing I'm going to do is use the summation. I rewrite it with two sums. So I'm basically going to distribute the summation to both of these. And what that's going to look like equals 1 to 101, 22ai plus summation i equals 1 to 101, 16bi. So these are equal. And next thing we're gonna do, that took the first formula here, just the reordering. Now we're gonna use the second one. And what that lets us do is it lets us bring that constant C out front. So we're gonna go ahead and do that now. What's our constant? Well, the first one constant is 22 and the second one's constant is 16. So we'll do 22 brought outside the summation I equals one to 101 of AI plus summation I equals one to 101. Oh, totally forgot to do what I said I was gonna do. Let's bring the 16 out front. I equals one to 101, 101 BI. And now we know these sums because the problem told us that you add up all the AIs, you get negative 20, add up all the BIs, you get positive 19. So we're gonna sub that in. So right here, that was 20, negative 20. So we got 22 times negative 20 plus 16 times the other sum is 19. Uh, you can multiply these out. You can also just leave answer like this, but this is what the sum adds up to.